Hello and welcome to another Let's Play from Eternal Glory 007 team. Okay, my name is Scythek and I am going to do a Game of Thrones, the RPG game, playthrough. Okay, let's start. Maybe, okay, let's start by the options. So, um, you can choose difficulty here, you can choose if you want blood effects in combat or not, vibration if you're using a controller, uh, hero helmet in dialogue, yeah, subtitles. As I saw, there's only English subtitles, so that's it. And the English game language, so I don't know why they put it there. Maybe in the future they're going to add some languages. Uh, controls, uh, if you're using controller, or uh, all the keys are rebindable, so you can put them wherever you want. Uh, graphics, there are not a lot of graphic options here, but as you can see, you can the screen resolution, gamma, I'm put it right in the middle, uh, full screen, game quality, high is the maximum, mm, kind of that's it, you can auto detect hardware, but I don't know, it's better like me. For me, detected to be medium, and when I put it to high, it still uh, functioned on 75, I mean 60 frames per second, so I don't know what was his problem. Sounds, you can mute all of them, so you can adjust them all. And, of course, only English language, so I don't know why they put that there. Okay, so we are going to start a new game, and we'll see how it works. I played the game for like 10 minutes, 15, so maybe I don't even know the basics of it, but I'm gonna learn it now. <laughs> okay, new game. Yeah, I know. Confirm. Uh, by the way, we are going to watch all the cutscenes and I'm not going to skip any dialogue. And the choices I make are mine, so if you chose other way, if you played it, it's, it's okay. So, these are my decisions, so. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna play it on night, so the normal difficulty. Lord, I don't know if I could do it that, but night's okay for me. Okay. Let's do this. Westeros, realm of the Seven Kingdoms. The world has changed. The ancient Targaryen line of kings had its fire extinguished after reigning over the Seven Kingdoms for many centuries. Robert Baratheon's rebellion unified most of the realm's great houses under a single banner, thus bringing about the fall of the Targaryens. Thus, 15 years ago, he acceded to the Iron Throne, becoming Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Far from the Game of Thrones and political intrigues, far to the north, in the land where winter seems never to die, a border cuts the continent in two. The Night's Watch has been its guardian for thousands of years, protecting the realm at all costs from wildling attacks and other menaces from beyond. The danger is constant, the cold is bitter, and death is sweet for those who fall. At times, even the bravest warriors give up and attempt to escape this white purgatory. Okay. That's a nice back to sword there. So we're south of the wall. Okay. <clears throat> Awesome. Okay. You 
can hide from me. Oh, so you don't want to hide. I knew that you were the one he'd send, Mars. Damn moment. It had to be you. It's over, old brother. All your attempts are in vain. You know I'll end up taking you to Castle Black, dead or alive. <laughs> Why not let me get away for old time's sake? After all, we're brothers. You betrayed us by attempting to escape, my friend. My duty is to bring you back. You know there's only one way to leave the Night's Watch. Dead, I guess. Hours, you leave me no choice. Can you hear that? That's my dog. Oh, shit. Yep. That's a demon dog. Little demon. Present day. 15 years. It's been 15 years since you abandoned your family and your lands to walk the icy stones of the wall. The sole barrier against the darkness that threatens to sweep down from the north. Your crime was choosing to act with integrity in a world divided between those who command and those who serve. In return, you were given another choice. The same choice as all other criminals and traitors in the Seven Kingdoms. Death or a life of exile in the Night's Watch. I guess we chose the Night's Watch. But wouldn't death have been a far sweeter fate than a life of misery and violence? The outside world has forgotten this desolate place lost in eternal winter. The wall slowly drains every last breath from those who patrol it, stealing the last dregs of warmth from their souls. On this bleak day, after hunting down a deserter, you are returning to the place you know you now call home. The headquarters of the Night's Watch, Castle Black. Okay, let's go. We're going home. I'm Morse Westford. You are Morse. Well, I am. A ranger in the Night's Watch. The military order, char order charged with protecting and holding the immense wall separating the realm of the Seven Kingdoms from the wild lands to the north. You are tormented by your past, a veteran and a hero of Robert Baratheon's rebellion, which brought an end to the ancient order. You betray your lord. I betray my lord. Wait. You were focused to leave your family and homeland to get to the wall, far from the warmth and love of your wife and daughter. Okay. So I need to choose Land at Night, Hedge Knight, or Magnar. <coughs> the Magnar is a fierce warrior favors melee combat, prizing brute force over finesse. Magnar fights with a weapon in each hand and wears medium armor. He is very mobile and able to rush at his opponents. And is well versed in the art of combat as he favors defense over attack. He also wears heavy armor and bears a stout shield, which makes him a determined and resilient fighter, resident fighter on the battlefield. Hedge Knight. A Hedge Knight is an all-around fighter who masters both range and melee combat. However, he prefers wielding two-handed weapons to inflict heavy weapon damage on his opponent. On the other hand, he is well able to absorb punishment. <coughs> okay, which one should I choose? Domination, Frenzy, Defense. Should I go for Defense? I'm gonna go with Magnar. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I look sexy. I can't rotate it. I can't rotate my character. Okay, so we should give him a bit of damage. Maybe a little bit of HP. Luck, loot, dodge, critical, agility, attack speed. Maybe this, yeah. Intelligence, organ chance. Okay, let's go with agility now. Okay, next. Frenzy. Slash. Two weapons, 100 prolonged damage. Okay, this gives you range every critical blow you receive. Okay, and vicious hit. Make the most of your opponent, but stun him. Rage. Definitely you don't. Okay, I'll give this one. It's a passive, so every time I go. 
Not the best thing you learn from the bad hits you've taken if you have to protect yourself from similar attacks. Damage resistance, critical hit received. <coughs> Rage. Or this one. I guess we'll go with this. Next. Okay. So uh, you have an axe and the warhammer, I guess. So I'll go put some points on him. Oh, no, no, no. i put the axe and one more. I guess that's okay. Yeah, this is when I don't have experience in this game. So I'm just choosing now. Oh, yeah. Balance found. That's great. If your opponent is building damage plus 15%. Okay, I need gifted. I can go down. <coughs> Head chance. I will go with that and. No. Okay, this is good. <coughs> Finished. The winning points can be used later on your character page. Okay, confirm the card. Yes, I will confirm it. Yes. Okay. Hey, doggy. Demon dog. Little demon. Little D. That's what she's. No, no, no. No way. Yeah, big ears. <laughs> Not really. You were so strong back then. At the time, I really believed in the mission of the Night's Watch. You know. You've changed, old brother. I never thought you would betray us. Me ah, neither. Well, you've always had a knack for choosing friends. One night here, and you'd already bashed in three of our brother's skulls. I wasn't yeah. the only one there, if I remember rightly. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I never think of the consequences. All I do is give. Yeah, the stupid of you. Some men but against you, but I wager you'd make it. It must have been quite a hunt. Nah, it was easy. Gorod knows how to cover his tracks and isn't half bad with the sword. I've known you for fifteen years, but I still had just a shred of hope that I'd give you and your damn dog a slip. I would have Not damn dog, it's demon dog. Like Hold your tongue, is that a that's not what your mother said last night. <laughs> I'll teach you about respect, dog. Enough. I've or not. To touch him. Not have had <laughs> his chance against him, blade in hand. <laughs> Tell me, where is Mormont? The Lord Commander is in front of the Commander's Keep with the new recruits. They've just sworn their oaths. So they are finally sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. Fools. Now you can teach them a little lesson. Right, Mors? Can I? We'll see, I guess. Of course you can count on me. I did what I had to, Lord Commander. <coughs> Lord Commander. Does you honor. Recruits, listen to me. Moors here is our best tracker. Now that you are sworn brothers of the Night's Watch, he will mold you into rangers. He has just returned from a very delicate mission. Hunting down his brother. In the name of the Night's Watch, I thank you, Mors. You know how hard it must have been for you to hunt down your friend. Wasn't the honor of the Night's Watch above all? I swore an oath to the Watch. If we go back on our word and our mission, then we are nothing. If only all my men spoke like that. Now you will have this problem. I see only four of them. Where is the fifth? I guess he dies. 
He's been looked after by Maester Aemon as we speak. Oh, so he didn't die. One of our brothers has broken his vows in the most sordid manner. That traitor then beat the poor boy and left him in the snow, more dead than alive. Damn it. I swear I'll skin the culprit alive. Alas, we do not know if the boy will recognize his assailant, or even if he is to survive. Too bad. The brat certainly was a pretty boy. Soft as a virgin. Maybe you were the one who killed him. Managed to corner him. I'm going to kill you. Silence, traitor. Each time I pass judgment on a deserter, I feel the bitterness of failure. It is my duty, as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, to make true brothers of you. This morning, you were strangers. Now, you have all sworn to honor our oath. Yeah, Some you're going to fight each other carrying for out me. Their duties, and some as criminals, forced to choose between the noose and the wall. Once you take the black, your past is dead. You can never go you back. Away your former loyalties, <sighs> forget your family and friends. They cease to exist. Such is the strength of our oath. No wife, no children, no lands. All that matters is defending the wall and the realm. We are your only home. We are your duty. We are your new family, the only one that matters now. More than 8,000 years ago, Humanity itself was nearly lost during the long night. Our predecessors then built the wall that you see behind us. This massive wall of ice is 700 feet high and divides the continent in half. It protects the realm of the Seven Kingdoms from threats beyond the wall. Defending it is our purpose, our duty. The Night's Watch has unfailingly carried out this mission for centuries, generation after generation. Wildlings, cold, wind, and dishonor. Those are your enemies, even in the midst of a summer such as this one. We have all taken our vows before the gods, whichever gods they are. If you betray your brothers, if you break this sacred oath, throughout the seven kingdoms of Westeros, you will be met with one punishment: death. Great. Okay. Enough talk. Okay. I believed in you. You were a sworn brother. Deserting, you betrayed me. You betrayed all of us, your brothers, as well as your duty to the Seven Kingdoms. From now on, you'll just be remembered as another head chopped off as a warning to others. I knew you'd never understand. I sincerely hope that you never find yourself in my position, Mors. Gorald was a brother of the Night's Watch for almost 15 years. But that bears no relevance. He will be executed for desertion. Beyond Sounds good. Our mission, we no longer exist. Yeah. Any last words, deserter. After all my Fuck years you. spent here, I forgot. So not. The cold has stolen the very memory. Go ahead and smile at the sight of me, the wretched deserter. But you may do the same one day. You won't be able to take it any longer, and you'll do anything just to live again. I tried my luck, and I failed. Okay. Come on, Mors. And do it well. I'm not going to fail you, don't worry. 
I guess I'm good at this. Goodbye, old friend. I'll see you on the other side. Or will you? Goodbye. Where's the head? Yeah. You will live and you will die in the shadow of the wall. There is not a slight remorse. Welcome to the Well yeah, they are called. Welcome. Wars. Take Ronit, Poddy, Seltigar and Patrick and put together a patrol. Make sure they smell a little less like summer. <laughs> okay. Right. Listen, since I need to teach you to survive at the wall, let's see what you're worth with the blade in your hand. Gather in the exercise yard. Yeah, I'm gonna meet you in the exercise yard. Okay. So the camera is pretty nice, as you can expect it from an RPG. Well, not the best angle, as I can see, but definitely a pretty good one. Uh, no zooming out to zooming in, as I can see, so it's annoying. Um, let me see if there is something. Controls. Zoom out, 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 zoom out. No zooming out. Great. Great. Okay, inventory. Okay. Character sheet. Yeah, I have to level up. Oh, I already have 100 experience. Great. Character sheets. Yeah. Okay. So this is it for the first episode, I hope I'll see you back in the second one. Ok guys, so don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite and see you soon, goodbye. <laughs>